Looks pretty thick. Open water. Andrew drilling. That's open water. A little muddy. Welcome back again to uh, another exciting episode of Out Here with Andrew again. We're out here in the middle of freaking nowhere. We're on our third pond of the day. Been doing a little bit of pond hopping this morning. Uh, if you saw the first two pond videos, we whacked giant bluegill. Um, had an awesome time. Caught some to keep, caught some to eat, caught some that were too big to keep. Well, we moved to a third pond, which this is it. There's not a whole lot to it. We just walked in over there. There was open water on the edges, so we're being a little bit careful out here, but this guy actually has some bigger bass in it uh, and some big crappie. So along with the bluegill, we got an opportunity to catch some big old nasty slaunch bass. So we're gonna get some, uh, some tip up set up, some dead stick set up. I got some big shiners with me. So always good to get those set up and uh, hopefully have one get set off. We haven't had a good tip up bite this year yet. I think this might be the lake that could do it though. So we're gonna kind of start drilling around, see what we can find. We don't have a whole lot of pond to cover. So I think we're gonna put some big baits for us some big fish, see what the hell happens. We're gonna put Mr. Lively shiner down. Hook right to the back on the tip up. There's fish down there already. We're gonna put them about, I don't know, probably a foot or so off the bottom, maybe a little more than that even. Mr. Shiner, right about there, if you guys can see that. That's the bottom of the lake. Let them suspend right there off the bottom for bigging. Let's go fish another hole. Shiner number two, getting deployed. All right, Mr. Shiner, good luck. Catch a tank. Oh, it's rolling. Yeah, it's spinning, dude. Got him. Did you really? Yeah. Shiner? Yeah, dude, on the shiner. Oh, yeah, nice. bud. Not a big one, but I'll take him. He's all wound yes. up in that line. <laughs> dude, how did that little guy eat that shiner? Wow. That's been out for like 10 minutes, maybe. Good one, man. <laughs> hey, good start. <laughs> I guess That's the cool. uh, tip ups will work. I looked over and it was spinning. Not a big, there is what, five pounders you said in here? Yeah, yeah I've caught multiple over four or five. Sweet. We'll get some bigger ones. Good start. All right. Had a bite of the tip up, first 10 minutes. Just got it re-tied up. Line was a little bit wrinkle up there, but hey, we're back. Ready to rock and roll. Let's see if we make that happen that quick again. That was pretty badass. Good God, already got fish on the screen. <laughs> Look at that. If... Poor Mr. Shiner. Oh yeah baby guys all right so just moved to pond number three caught the bass on the tip up andrew said there's lots of these guys he just caught a bunch too but hey gotta take those with the good ones sometimes right usually the ponds loaded with those guys also have some giant bass got the tip ups deployed with the big shiners start with the teardrop probably gonna upsize to i was using a spoon a second ago but probably gonna pull the spoon maybe jig and wrap a bunch more got another one on me he wasn't kidding. <laughs> oh yeah. Doubled up with giants. Absolute giant. But hey, pretty guy. This is the, oh hey, go away. You guys are probably sick of seeing me use this bait right here, but same old deal. Baby perp. Porn stash special. Oh, nice. <laughs> Doubled, up. Doubled up. Oh, flag's up over there. Dude, it's so far away. Oh my god, I will eat shit if I run, too. It's gonna take forever to get there, but the other flag is up, way up the creek channel. That could potentially be like a better one. It's not spinning. It's not spinning, is it? No, it's definitely triggered though. Yeah. On there? I do. Yes. Sick. Yeah. Another giant, dude. <laughs> you got a big enough shiner on there. I know, dude. That was one of the better shiners, too. Wow. Good sized shiner. Small bass, but hey, that's pretty cool. All right, bud. Well, I'll show you. Man, I was hoping for a five. Dude, I might bring this down there. Yeah. You just don't have to run all the way. Yeah, let's bring it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, at least it was worth the walk, run. 
jog through the sketchy snow and ice. Didn't fall or fall through, so when we got here, it wasn't even spinning. I think he was just sitting there with it in his mouth, and he wasn't very big, so that'll also do it, but hey, it's fish. Another tip up, oh, stop going. He might just be sitting there with it. <laughs> nope, didn't have that one. He freaking took it though, man. Oh, yeah, he hit it hard. Tip ups might be the way to go today, guys, which I'm totally down with. We haven't had a good tip up video yet this year. I looked over here and it was freaking spinning. He must just uh, fell out of his mouth, but Usually when that happens, you want to get back down there as soon as possible because he's probably not too far off. Oh, he ate it on the fall. That's a little bit better one. Not giant. Not like the last place. Apparently this is the bass pond though, so hey, we'll take him. We now have two tip-ups, dead stick rod over there with shiners. So let's pretty much wait and see with those and then jig around and cover water with this. Oh, that's fish. Oh god, I about died. Oh no, it came off. Oh, it felt way better too. Oh, man. Dude. Damn it. Looks small. Freaking wiped out too. I did. It tried to take my pole. Damn it. I looked over and my rod was trying to go for a swim. Not really what I wanted, but hey. Would have been what I wanted if I caught the damn thing. All right, shiners do in fact work. You can't even feel them bite, they're so little. Just swimming sideways with it. Come on back. It's only like five feet deep right here too. You can just reach down and grab them. Just one after another. This one's better or something. Come on done. Other way, other way, other way. There we go, there we go. Oh, we got a fish. Hey. That's probably the best one I've caught this pond, actually. Let's get back down, catch another one. Fishing is on fire. Like I was just telling Andrew, we're basically fishing first ice again. Because we had ice that was safe, and then it got warm randomly. And then the ice wasn't safe, and now it's frozen again. We're not fishing on much ice, if you can see. It's only like three inches, but it's safe-ish. And it's fun when you catch a fish every two seconds. Another flag up. Is it still spinning? Get him, dude. Lose them? Oh no, dude, your pole is in the water. Oh god, dude. <laughs> My pole's in the water. We're setting up the other tip up. Dude, it's probably like it's probably good to go too, because it's uh the drag's really loose. <laughs> See on it? I don't know. Got pulled the whole rod in the water. See on there? No. Wow. Damn. They're hitting, man. God dang, dude. Hitting, Can't even keep up with them. He's still there. No, he's like seven miles away though. This is absolutely insane. I can't even keep up with my dead stick and two tip ups. We just had all three of them go off. I'm trying to get to where I can even set them back up again. But they'll probably all go off before I can even set all three up. I'll get another fish on one. I guess that's a good problem. All right, which one do I have a bite on? That one. <laughs> Get the third one set. Get a bit on the second one. No, I don't think so. Nope, this is crazy guys. It's like as quick as you can get them set. <laughs> Just chase my pole down. Oh, what's up bud? Oh God. That tip I just went to? God, just doubled up with shiners. One on the dead stick, one on the tip up. Again, not a big one. I'll take my shiner back. Thank you, fool. This other guy back in. Man, this place is loaded with fish. Oh my God, we just dropped this down oh. two seconds ago. Wow. And got this bass. Look at that. Finally. Oh guys. Two and a half pounder through the ice on a shiner. Anything else going crazy? Yeah, this is yeah. nuts. We just caught one out of this hole two minutes ago. Dropped back down, two and a half on a shiner. 
Sick, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, we can't even keep up with them. Release this bad yeah, boy. My pole's getting pulled in the lake. <laughs> yeah. Good god. Seriously, can't even keep up with the fish. There's so many biting right now. I've never seen anything like this. Nothing. He was though. He was going with it. God dang. These fish are crazy in here. Nothing on that one. I'm gonna go back now and uh, catch a fish over there. This is a workout. These shiners are getting the damn job done. Oh God. Damn it, no! Ah, it was. He was freaking pulling line. Ah, all right, I'm sitting over here. Screw those bluegills. Oh, just came back over here. Rod was getting pulled in the lake. Oh, hell yeah. Decent one. Kind of. Not giant. Apparently there's a freaking million of these though. Because every time you drop that shiner down, he's chewing. See you, bud. All right, shiner's the deal. I'm no longer jigging for bluegill. I'm just going to sit next to my shiner rod and, uh, yeah, catch fish on it. That sounds like a good plan. This right here has been the rig, though, guys. Shiner on a number four hook right behind the dorsal fin and two super light split shots. It's about eight feet deep. And those split shots will barely even keep that guy in place. But I'm dropping them down about five feet. <coughs> and then the shiner's just swimming all over the damn place. And it's literally about as fast as you can keep up with a rod, with the shiner, everything else. So I'm gonna sit by it this time and be ready to pounce a little bit quicker. Cause I can't even keep up with it when I'm sitting over on the other side. All right guys, I haven't been able to give you too many updates cause it has been absolute freaking insanity. I literally haven't been able to keep up with my one dead stick rod, a tip up right there and a tip up over there. The entire time since I got here, it's been one after another going off, if not multiple going off at the same time. Um, not giant bass, but seriously such a freaking blast catching them on like three to five inch shiners. Uh, on like a single hook, nothing too crazy here. It's about eight feet deep everywhere we got our tip up set up fish are down about six to seven feet and they are just they're absolutely taking the rod out of your hand i think we finally hit a little bit of a lull so i had time to actually talk to you guys haven't been giants we've caught a lot in like that 12 to 15 inch range one was about two and a half pounds on the tip up that andrew uh pulled in a little bit ago but absolutely freaking awesome i love catching them on tip ups and on dead sticks and stuff because you constantly have action when they're biting as well as they are today but we're going to give it uh give it a go for about another hour or so i think andrew might have to go here in just a second i might stay and fish a little longer i'm not really quite sure yet but i'm gonna try jigging around jigging spoon with some cut bait maybe for a bigger bass and uh yeah it's been an absolute blast so far let's uh let's keep at them let's let's finally catch a big one though i, I really want to catch a giant there we go freaking crushed my spoon oh that's a good one oh yeah it's best one of the day for me God, he won't fit through the hole. And he's on the transducer. Get through there. Yes! Hell yes! Oh my God. Finally, guys. That was a lot of work to get this guy, but like I said, switched it up to the old jigging spoon. Look at that. Jigging spoon, shiner head. I was looking the other direction. He freaking crushed it. Hell yes oh man that was so much freaking fun not an absolute tank probably close to a three pounder fat fish thick winter build could not get it through this hole andrew's only got like a four inch auger this guy was pretty tight through there but that was a blast there he goes Woo! well i definitely wasn't like thinking about giving up completely but things were slowing down for a while it was like bang 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 forever getting tons of bites and then all of a sudden nothing but i decided i was gonna try to kind of draw him in we got this jigging spoon with the little shiner head on the bottom. That's been a trick for us earlier when we had ice this season. And obviously that guy was a, a fan as well. Let's see if we can make it happen again. Just put this guy back down the live shiner. 
And we got one. This one feels decent too. I don't want to say it too soon, you know? But he's definitely pulling different. Yeah, he's a little bit better. He's not giant though. God, it's so hard to get into that smaller hole. Hell yes. Feeding window apparently just opened up again. Not a giant, probably close to a two pounder. That guy was on the live shiner. I literally just checked it. I was like, I wonder if the shiner is still alive because nothing's happened in a while. Andrew just took off actually. Not an absolute tank, but I will take him. Thanks for playing. Oh man, wind just picked up and it, uh, it got chilly even though I had a long walk back up there. Got all sweaty walk up the hill. I don't know if you guys watched the video a couple of videos ago, but we actually had to walk in like a mile and a half to get to that lake down there. But hey, back at the car now and ready to make the couple mile trek back up north. Uh, that pond was absolutely crazy. I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. It was like randomly constantly running to get tip ups and get the set poles and everything else. And sometimes the camera was on, sometimes it probably cut and there was a damn fish on or whatever. I don't even know. It was, it was insane. I never had that fast of action for bass through the ice ever. So if you guys like the ice fishing for bass and bigger species through the ice, let me know, drop a comment down below. And of course, hit the thumbs up, go subscribe as well because there'll be many more bass fishing, ice fishing videos in the near future. But thanks so much for watching this one in Meffers. I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Out of here, peace. I'm not sorry, I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine.